We started the service in 1997, of just four of us, um, and there's now 15 of us. But we started as a four-month pilot study to try and prevent patients being uh, bed blockers in the winter, um, and it's just grown from there. And what do you think the judges sort of was impressed by, in particular, with your service? I think one of the things we do is we don't just look after COPD patients, we look after all sorts of respiratory patients and we see them from diagnosis right through to end of life. Um, the team has lots of different hats and do different um, things for patients. We have a rehab service in that, um, an acute oxygen service, um, nebulizer clinic, um, nurse and physio led clinic and see patients acutely at home, either facil facilitating discharge or to prevent hospital admission. And your service has been going a long time, yeah. relatively long time. You must have learned quite a lot of lessons over the years. What would you say to other people who may just be starting out on this kind of service? One of the big lessons I think we should have done is um, take more data um, from the very beginning and make sure that data was you know, robust and maybe write up more um, of what we've done, have it published. It's interesting because someone else said that, that data management was the biggest, bigger lesson. Just yeah. to explain then what advice you'd give to someone in, in the area of data management. I think you need a good, robust database that is compatible with other teams um, and also so you can prove outcomes because it's all about outcomes today um, and I think data proves that.